Because this is a game all about goals, and I cannot believe you're getting plus 125 over two and a half. It's Espanyol versus Celta Vigo. Espanyol plus 175. Not sure I'd go near the money line because the away side are also at plus 179. The draw are at plus 225. I just keep coming back to it. Over two and a half goals for plus 25. It's like, Pavlos, go first. This is goals, surely. Well, yes, but... Uh, well, that means no. You don't yeah, believe. You're not a believer. I'm not, I am and I am not with this Delta Vigo side. You can never know. I mean, uh, we, we talk about this in every show. You expect them to score three. They score, they lose to, I don't know, Alaves. Yeah. Then you expect them to lose to... Yeah, so I, I don't know. And especially with Espanyol, uh, having that, uh, you know, um, absence of Raul de Tomas, uh, I was searching, you know, the team news. I... So far, he's questionable at best, so I don't know if he's out. I still th think they have a, a pretty solid, you know, uh, attacking trio with uh, uh, the other guys. But, you know, missing your crown jewel is just really, really uh, hurts your goal-scoring opportunities. But uh, for what it's worth, uh, Spaniel, they do have the seventh best offense with 35 goals. Uh, really good at home, again, with uh, 22 goals at home, seventh best home offense. Um, they they don't have a very good defense. They have the sixth worst defense overall, uh, 42 conceded goals. Um, weirdly enough, they have the sixth best home defense with 16 conceded. So they're a bit careful, uh, you know, at home. Um, they are not very, you know, uh, they're five and two in both teams to score in the last seven. Uh, they kept clean seats against Mallorca and Getafe, and if they played any better opposition, they probably wouldn't have. So, um, yeah, the, the absence of Raul de Tomas was more than obvious in their loss to Sociedad, and um, he's still questionable. So, I'm not so sure about their goal scoring opportunities, but you know, their return at home is always uh, something positive. Where they um, they've been quite solid actually uh, over the season, and uh, Celta, they they kind of have a solid defense. They have the fifth best uh, overall defense with 34 considered goals. They, they have the second best away defense with 13 considered goals. And um, they rank dead last in both teams to score on the road with just 3 and 11. So, um, you know, Felder are coming off a very frustrating loss to Real Madrid with they considered three penalty kicks, um, throw in uh, Santi Minas, you know, recent legal issues. So there is a big fat no-no for me. I just, uh, I, I look at this match look at some stats, but then I said no. So, of good course. luck with whatever you pick in that match. Uh, for what is worth, one last stat, uh, both teams to score is 8-2 and two in the last 10 between the two sides, but uh, just 3-2 and two in the last 5 in this venue. Yeah, 8-2, and two, both teams to score. So, one of them's got to get a second just to get over yeah. the 2.5. The over 2.5 is at plus 125. I quite like both teams to score and over here, Paco. Yeah, possibly. I think that uh, I was this this particular case. I was trying to look into the the value side of things uh, because sure. you know I had that, like a you know a hunch that there was something hidden in this game uh, because both of them. And I just began looking first at the the way the standings are at this point. They are ten points clear away from relegation zone. They are going to be unable to reach European spots, and they have fluctuated the whole season, you know, with the highs and lows, winning a couple of games, then losing. Espanyol have been unable to win games away from their own turf, but they are playing at home. Celta are, as Pablo said, unpredictable, even though they have problems uh, with the absence of, uh, well, those problems with Santi Mina. Uh, always you can obviously trust Yago Aspas to do something magic, but Overall, I think it's going to be crucial if uh, Raul de Tomas is uh, on top of the pitch or not. He's having problems, issues with his shoulder, and that's why at this point he's uh, in serious doubt towards the game. But if we look into the uh, actual stats and into the actual uh, picks, I had to go with the random pick of the weekend because it was Shot. too juicy. Yeah, it was too juicy to let it go. Okay, so going for a both teams to score and. A Spaniel win because they're just felt are horrible away from from and Spaniel are also horrible away from from. Someone has to win, okay? So <laughs> both is to score and Spaniel winning the game. I don't know. The reward is so juicy that I had to go for it. Really? Yeah, you don't have to explain yourself. It's actually uh, I think the price I saw the price was amazing and I totally see this one like a, a three one two one three two. Easily, but I it's my personal belief that I don't want to get involved in you know in Celta's matches. I just hate this team this season. I just hate them. <laughs> and, and I just want, one last, I just one want last... Roman to know that yeah. I have nothing to do with this, Roman. 
I have, honestly, I have nothing to do with it. After okay. his last one of Levante minus, last, a plus 550. What is this one, Paco? My last argument in favor of this is that they are at this point like just mid-tier sides, mid-table, mm. nothing to win, nothing to lose. So that's yeah. when defenses go out of the window. Yeah. You know, those games where you don't economy. really have nothing on the line. And that's, that's why true. we are facing a few games of these of this type in the last string of, of matches remaining, in the last eight games remaining. So uh, looking into everything, I said, why not? Why not, uh, for example, a 2-1 win for Espanyol? Both teams to score Espanyol win. Boom, there you go. Nice. I, I, I wouldn't see it so random to happen. It could definitely happen. Yep. Okay. Could definitely happen. Let's have a little look at the official pick and give me a pro plus 500. He loves it. Roman's now nice. like, well, I'll tell you what, I quite like the plus 500. If he gets it yeah. right, he could do some proper damage. Um, OK, so listen, don't say that we, uh, we're we square on La Liga. But there again, that's why we're plus 18 units of profit, because we are anything but square. Espanyol to win and both teams to score plus 500 from Paco the Great. 